Hey friends, it's Brian here with my Jeep TJ build from my salvage uh, Jeep. So this started out as a salvage Jeep, it now runs and drives. Um, and I've got a little bit of stuff to do. Yesterday was the first day I had a chance to uh, put it in motion. I'm real excited that it just fired right up. You wanna see the rest of the videos, make sure to hit that Jeep build playlist. Uh, you can also subscribe to my channel, hit that thumbs up, and hit that bell icon so you find out when I release new videos. So. I'm gonna put the headlights in. I've got a sensor. I gotta figure out where that came from. And uh, I got a couple other little things to do like ground wires that need to be attached. So that's what I'm gonna work on today. Uh, let me get set up for that and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm gonna start with the headlight grounds. One of them goes here. These are 10 millimeter screws. Uh, let me see if that's... I think that's where that goes. All right, and I'm gonna do the one on the other side and I'll be right back. All right, so it's time to put the bezels in and well, not the bezels. It's, it's time to put the headlights in. That's kind of a cool thing. Um, this Jeep came with these LED headlights. I have no idea if they're worth a shit or not. We'll find out. So they do appear to be directional. All right, that's the right direction for that one. And I have a whole bag full of little parts, screws and shit. Uh, where my little magnetic tray went? Oh, there it is. It's old crap. All right, I have a big magnetic tray. Looks like just a Phillips screwdriver for this. This one looks good. Need a smaller screwdriver for this. Oh no, it is uh, fucking torque screws. You gotta be kidding me.
Boy, this is a pain in the ass to get in and out of. So I'm going to connect it in the back. And then got a couple of these black rings. I don't think they're side specific. they are. And for your ultimate pleasure, these are a Phillips screw. had some damage. Um, the trim ring was actually popped out. And I was able to find a replacement on Amazon for not much. In fact, it's a pretty, it's a pretty inexpensive part. The uh, original one, the little ears came unwelded, so I have to toss the whole piece. fascinating that uh, these are clocked the exact same way, meaning the small pieces are on the left side. This looks really not aimed in the right direction, but that's not today's problem. I would have expected the the two that are close to be on the outside like they are on that one, but I guess they're using the exact same part on both sides. So that's part of the problem. So 
because one of the ways to retrieve a screw is not with a magnet. You would think a magnet would retrieve it, but it won't. sure what's going on here but it's just not sitting in here right so I'm gonna take the trim ring off apparently the trim ring sits in here just so it's a pretty tight fit, at least on the aftermarket one. I still think I'm probably going to replace these lights, but I don't want to spend that money until there we go. That one wasn't engaging before. Uh, I want to make I, I want to deal with other problems first. As long as these lights function, it'll be okay. I had a little bit of a feature yesterday where when I turned on the headlight switch, the windshield wipers came on. I don't know if that's due to wiring problem somewhere that I haven't identified or if it is due to the headlights not being grounded. Pretty happy if it's all all it was was a seven or eight dollar trim ring. Could have had a lot worse damage in the front. like a Jeep again. It has eyes. <sighs> Thought we were going to be playing eyes without a face there for a little while. And for my younger fans, uh, that was a old song. It was one of the first songs that was on YouTube. And the lyrics to it were eyes without a face, eyes without a face, eyes without a face. And the meaning of the song is well beyond my simple ability to understand. All right. So hey, it looks like a Jeep again. Uh, I'm gonna turn the battery charger on. The battery is 
toast. Need a new battery, but that's not today's project. And then I'm just going to put key in and uh, see what the lights look like. headlights we have one well I guess if we had the other one plugged in it might work but the windshield wipers don't come on anymore so that's a good sign all right let's see if that one lights up I mean these are such simple devices We have rapid flashing. I don't know why. That way you guys can actually see what I'm doing. see what it is. P27, 3157. I might actually have one of these. And I might actually have broken one. Nope. Normally I would tell you it's a bad idea to just leave it run like that, but I have a battery charger running, so not a big deal. I have a 4157, but that's not what we're looking for. And I have the old style bulb. on Amazon because I ain't spending any more money on that than I absolutely have to. I uh, have plans for the Jeep and they don't involve um, that style ball. So we'll put this back in. We know that this one's probably the issue. easy enough to fix. We have hazards on all four. twisted. You know what? I'm not going to fuck with that right now. It should go in the slot, but that's just not today's problem. I want to know if the windshield wipers work. Well, the windshield wipers do, but the the pump doesn't. today's problem either. But that's something I'm going to have to deal with. Oh, I guess you guys don't. So, 
So I think it's ready to go for a spin again. Mm -hmm. Let's take it out for a drive with no license plate. Okay, so let's start it. see what happens a little bit of hunting but so far it sounds good brakes need to be adjusted
just fine. I think I'm going to run it down the street one more time. Although I don't know why. What I really need to do is get it street legal. So I've run it for about an hour, um, gave it a good bath, left it running the whole time, washed off the engine bay. It's still running, still idling, still very responsive. So I think we're good to go mechanically. Uh, I've got some, I got a lot of TLC level things that need to be done. So I'm gonna uh, make a list of those things and get those ordered and uh, see if we can't get it all buttoned up and looking like a good Jeep again. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting and uh, entertaining.